Buckle up, driving is about to get a whole lot more expensive. The government has unveiled a $20 billion transport plan which will see the Roads of National Significance project revamped with 15 new four-lane highways to be built. But to pay for it, the entire fleet will have to pay road user charges. So that means electric and now petrol vehicles as well. And drivers are going to face a $50 increase to vehicle registrations over the next two years. In our major cities, congestion charges could also be on the way, so people would have to pay to drive when it is busy on the roads. And fines for not wearing a seatbelt could triple from $150 to $450. Here's political reporter Amelia Waite. New roads were a driving force behind National's election campaign. They made it into government, so today behind the podium... In building 15 new roads of national significance across, across New Zealand. The coalition confirmed the government will get cracking on those roads of national significance. They're mostly spread around the Upper North Island, like the alternative to the Brindurwins, and Aotearoa's most expensive roading project, Mill Road. There's also the second Mount Vic Tunnel in Wellington. But it was revealed by the Herald last month transport officials had advised National it had undercooked its campaign costings by half, leaving a $24 billion hole. You undercooked your campaign costings by $24 billion? No, there's a range of estimates in terms of what um, the costings will be. National and opposition was really irresponsible and a bit reckless. They made these announcements and it's just not deliverable to both spend more money on infrastructure and reduce taxes. National has now worked out it needs more money for roads. I can confirm that we will not be increasing Fed or RUC in this term. It's delaying the pain at the pump by whacking it up a massive 12 cents a litre at the start of 2027, then another 10 cents by 2029. But make no mistake, drivers will be paying more in the very near future too, because, surprise, rego fees are going up by a whopping $50 over two years. That'll rake in an extra $660 million for the government. Really? Shit. Um... Ridiculous, really. No, for me, it's um, yeah, it's just a money-making scheme. We're putting other costs on drivers. It's all coming out in the wash. No, the reality is we we committed to not increasing fed and ruck. We're not doing that, but the reality is we are raising some revenue through the motor vehicle registration fee. The government also wants 50,000 roadside drug tests a year and to increase how much people pay in fines. Oh. That's just money-making scheme. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's all that is. Fence yeah. out the gate from being honest. These measures are not about revenue gathering. This is about sending a clear message to drivers that reckless behaviour and attitudes on our roads will not be tolerated. It's also looking at congestion charging so drivers pay a premium to drive during rush hour. I've made my expectations clear that the New Zealand Transport Agency must consider different ways of funding and financing major transport investments, ensuring they make efficient use of every dollar spent. The government is also shifting the focus of the Land Transport Fund. It will no longer pay for walking and cycling projects. In fact, those projects are facing a funding slash and freeze. There has been an explicit directive given to the fund not to pay for traffic calming measures. That's things like bus stops and driving lanes and speed bumps. But it will be able to pay to remove speed bumps. The Transport Minister has also signalled today that public transport fares could be about to increase. It's going to be a massive blow um, to low-income households. Simeon Brown's also keeping his promise to pave over the potholes with a $500 million fund. We have chosen to prioritise new roading infrastructure, maintaining services and targeted investment in public transport while also ensuring our roading network is maintained to a high and safe standard. Though it'll soon just cost drivers a lot more to drive over those fixed-up roads. Millie Wade, Newshub.